had to put some lashes so that I don't look as sicky. So I am kind of sicky, so I'm going to probably be a little boogery and coughing and stuff. So I just wanted to warn you. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you again for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a little looky-loo on the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop finishing or setting powder and then we have the concealer and then wait to the end of my video so I can let you know how to enter my little giveaway. Just a thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the concealer right here I picked up in natural. It does have 24 colors. It is a full coverage mattifying concealer with 24 hour claim and it is a no transfer concealer. Then we have the powder here, which comes in six different shades and it is oil absorbing. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little swatch of this concealer. It is a really heavy full coverage and it pretty much dries down pretty fast. So it is a concealer that you're going to have to like really work. Now I've been kind of playing with this for a few days, actually more than a few days, and I find then when I use it, I like to apply it mainly with a brush. This is my It Cosmetics. It's kind of bent. I kind of like to work that little brush, go in there in my inner corners of my eye, underneath my lash line, and then I kind of like to drag that color down just so that it illuminates underneath the eye. If you have dry under eyes, you're gonna definitely wanna hydrate underneath because it is a dry con uh, concealer where later in the day, it can make you look a little bit on the crackling side. Now, another thing that I've been kind of staying away from, which I normally do when I wear concealer, I don't like to apply foundation, concealer, and then powder or baking when you're really dry because then it starts getting a little creepy and creasy during the day. So that's one thing that I don't like to do if you have dry eyes. Now, if you are oilier, you're probably going to like it because it is a really nice matte one. So it's going to pretty much keep that, you know, concealer in place. So after I apply it with the brush, I like to go in with my beauty blender when it's damp and I kind of like to just press that product in. And then it kind of moistens it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Kind of drag that color down. Then go in with the Beauty Blender. So it is really nice and full coverage. But the funny thing is I kind of like using it by itself. I don't really like setting it. I feel like it kind of settles on its own nicely and it doesn't do anything crazy. Now, when I apply the powder, so this powder says that it is a setting powder and oil absorbent. Now, I do have to show you that it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you could cut. Yeah, you could see it. See how it has a little sheen to it? So I actually don't like setting my under eyes with this because with this concealer, it starts doing kind of weird stuff. The product starts kind of accumulating in one spot and it starts breaking down and then it starts looking kind of cakey. So I don't like the two. That is what's happening on me. You could probably have a whole different experience with it. So I really don't like baking. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with this so that you could see what it does after a little bit. Immediately already, I'm getting really creasy. Okay, now this does have like a little dome right there, and then it has on the lid, in the inner lid, it has like this little guy right here. So when you put it together and you open it, you don't get like a bunch of powder flying out, which is really nice. It kind of keeps the powder contained. Now this powder I like when I'm actually kind of setting my foundation lightly. I do like to go a little bit underneath the eyes, but I definitely do not like baking with it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my Fit Me by Maybelline so that you could kind of see the difference when I set it with this. Now this powder is a little heavier, but the difference is with this powder that it kind of, ooh, I put a little bit way too much. Okay, so with this powder, it does stay flawless. It kind of gives you like a blurring effect. 
God, what was I thinking? I put way too much. Anyway, you could get the gist of it. See how it kind of leaves everything really nice and smooth? This one right here, you could kind of see a little bit peeking through and later, it's not gonna stay like that. It's gonna start moving around doing something crazy. This is pretty much gonna stay like this the whole time. I've been like obsessed with this powder for the last week. I bought like so many, I've been using them on shoots and it is like the best powder ever. I forgot how great it is. But anyway, I don't know if you could see the difference. This is more of a like perfect blurred out powder and then this one starts doing like a little crazy stuff and later on it really starts doing crazy stuff. So that's pretty much it. If you have oily skin, you're probably gonna love this. I don't hate it, I think it's pretty. I just like to kind of wear it by itself. The powder is quite lovely when you're just kind of setting your makeup quickly. I don't like to bake with it at all. I haven't had any good experience baking with it. I just think it does kind of weird stuff. So together, I definitely do not like it. And then what I like to do is I kind of like to go in with a setting spray and just kind of melting everything together. And then I go ahead and go in with a blush. Blush. I'm gonna put a little bit so I don't look so pasty. I like to smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks. And then you go in with your blender and I'll your bronzer and all that stuff and then your set but I definitely like this side a lot better. So that's it for that. I hope you enjoyed that little video. Let me know how you like to apply and what it does because I'm really interested in knowing. I know everybody has different opinions of what they're going through with this powder and concealer. So I'm very curious. So let me know in the comments down below. Now, as far as the giveaway, I'm going to be posting my thumbnail on my Instagram. So make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube and my Instagram, which is also Makeup by Evelise. Leave a comment down below on this video. And then on my thumbnail on Instagram, leave a comment down below and then I will be notifying you by Instagram, by DM, by next Tuesday. Today's Tuesday? No, what's today? Is today Tuesday? Well, by next week on Tuesday, let's just say, because I don't even know what today is. So anyway, that's how I would notify you, and then we'll just get all the details sorted out. So let me let you know what you'll be getting. All right, so I do have the e.l.f. Glow on the Go, a selfie light. I did show this on one of my videos. I think this is a great little light. So I went ahead and picked up another one. It's super cute. This is how you put it on your phone. It does have three different settings. So I really love that. Then because I'm a lash freak, I did pick up one of my, I'm getting boogery, sorry. I did pick up one of my drugstore favorite eyelashes. This is my Eyelure 126. I know that you've heard me talk about it, so I wanted to go ahead and give it to you guys in case you guys haven't tried it. These are great, I absolutely love it. Or not to you guys, to the winner. <laughs> All right, the next thing I have here is my Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. This is what it looks like. Nice fluffy lashes. And then I have another set, and this is by Juno, where I got my little furry guy here, and it looks like a little lollipop. These are really nice. They're a little bit natural than the other ones. I usually like to use these on some of my brides. It just gives you like a really nice and natural fluff. And then of course, you have to have a little lash holder. So this does hold three lashes and you could you know, fit a little glue in there. And then I also have the Tartia's Shimmery Lip Paint. I love this. This is like a really nice lip topper. You can pretty much put it on any kind of lip stick or mix it in with another lip gloss and it's absolutely beautiful. And then we had the Smashbox. This is a... The Legendary Liquid Metal, and I believe this is in Brains in Bronze. I think this is the actual color of the lip gloss, quite beautiful. And then we have a nice palette. This is the Protégé palette. It does have a nice big mirror. And then these are the colors. You have some shimmers and your matte. And I will be putting it in a cute little packaging and sending it off to the winner. Anyway, that's my video. Don't forget to go to my Instagram and leave your little comments. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Ring that little bell so you can make sure to know when I am uploading or so that you know when I'm uploading. And that's it. And I will see you again for my next video. Bye. Never turn this off.